Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, if you remember, I went to B&M recently and uh, got uh, a couple of Craft Buddy crystal art canvases. I understand that uh, the princesses and there is actually a stitch canvas as well from Craft Buddy crystal art are exclusive to B&M. So if you're wanting those, you have to pop along and get them. Uh, and one lady said she's been and actually got the Disney princess for £5. So yay, go you, getting a bargain. I thought I'd got a bargain getting it for 12 but getting it for £5 is excellent. Uh, I hope that doesn't mean that they're going to get rid of them because I think that's... Uh, yeah, no, we definitely need to keep uh, going with diamond painting. We want them in more shops in the UK. Uh, so this is the other one anyway that I bought that was instead of £15, if you bought two, you got them for £24. So basically £12 instead of 15 And as I said, I do like to get my bargains. I don't like paying full price for things. I do occasionally, but on the whole, I like a bargain. Um, so yeah, this one is actually uh, a triptych. It's three separate pictures making it into one. Uh, I think it's a light up one. I'm not sure. Uh, it's 21,000 plus crystals. So I think it's only a partial, uh, which is going to be at the bottom. We'll get it out in a second. I'm just reading what's on the box. It's exceptionally heavy, which what make what, which is what makes me think it may be. Um, maybe light up but maybe not because it doesn't actually say on the box that it lights up that's just wishful thinking i think um spend an a, a relaxing afternoon creating a dazzling beautiful piece of art with crystal creations this mesmerizing art is a soothing mix of paint by numbers cross stitch and mosaics perfect for anyone who wants to get creative but doesn't know where to start Allow the hours to melt away as you apply the crystals one by one, creating a twinkling image of shimmering perfection. Oh, I say, I like that description. So we've got our picture on the back, tells us what our little toolkit is. It's the little uh, stylus, as they call it, the diamond painting pen with the little, uh, it's like star and uh, diamond in the top. And they are produced by Hinkler all the social media details down there at the bottom it's got a little bit blurry there we are oh it might be my eyesight actually <laughs> right so let's get into this one and have a look at what we get and uh, it's heavy but that's because these are all pre-framed canvases as well which i do like the idea of pre-framed on a triptych because you're not having to then search around for frames or anything to put them on. They're already done and pre-stretched, which makes life a whole lot easier. All right. Oh, sorry if that made me jump. Made me jump. <laughs> Let's get into these. No, they're not light up. It's just me wishful thinking, thinking that they're lit up. I did think they were very cheap for the price if they did. But anyway, uh, if I just get into this, I should be using my knife, but never mind. all very nicely measured out onto the uh, frames as well they're like an mdf frame so they've got like um don't know whether that's ply no it's not plyboard it does feel like mdf and then the sides look you can see are probably i think not far of an inch maybe three quarters of an inch there look sort of a square frame all the way around and then good size staples all the way around we've got the uh, numbers there one to 24 the colors i'm thinking yeah the key codes look the same so that's good that means that um the colors will all be the same for each one so if you kit it up you'll be able to do all three canvases uh one after the other so that's pretty good um and it looks like we're all numbers one to seven and then eight is a down to z so it's all numbers and capital letters really nice clear drill field i love this one with the fireworks over big ben this is obviously like a new year scene but it's quite funny me actually doing this on bonfire night 
because there will be a lot of fireworks going off tonight. Okay, so that's the two end ones. Oh, I've used sellotape again in the middle, at least. Oops. Oh, I'm going to get that off there. Hang on, where's my scissors? At least the key code is actually inside the bag. Um, a couple of ones that I've had in the past where they've sellotaped it to the back of the canvas. Um, the key code has been loose and you end up with the sellotape over your little legend, your little key code, and that's not good for anybody. So we've got a lot of grip seal bags in this one as well, which I don't know whether I've had grip seal bags before or not. I don't think I have. So that's really good as well, because if you're not wanting to say kit up, um, you're new to diamond painting, you don't have any storage, you have got a lot of little grip seal bags in here. Let me have a look. It's our toolkit. Oh, the wax has got a little bit squished. Uh, yeah, it's obviously been out party in that wax. Actually, that's two pieces of wax squished together there. <laughs> I would think, what did I say, colours? 24. I would think you probably have got 24 little grip seal bags there. Let me just uh, corral them up into one bag so that they're not slipping everywhere. Can't be doing with messy bags. All right, just talk amongst yourselves while I just uh, corral these up and get them into one bag. <laughs> oh, I know. Too fussy for my own good. What can I say? Right, so that is in there. So that's all those. Got a little white boat, say squished piece of wax. And then the pens uh, are just a single play set. But I do like, it's like a snowflake actually, rather than sort of a flower. And you've got the big gem in the middle. And they do fit your pen grips and everything. They are like the standard size pen. So put those back in there. Okay. Is all our gems there uh, looks like i think they're probably acrylic i've not seen anywhere where it says resin now then let me look on these bags yeah we've actually got the dmc codes are on the bags on the bags of gems so this is 939 which is your dark blue uh, 841 which is like your fawn color so yeah there's no uh, dmc codes on the little crib sheet your little key code but i mean you could write actually i probably will write the dmc codes on there uh, it's telling you you've got one bag of each color as well so it's 26 colors so um if you are copying this to put onto your pots you don't need that end one and you get your little picture there as well which is quite nice okay so this is your full picture with the other way around it's the other way around guys i'm just thinking that doesn't look right <laughs> i always thought big ben was at that side of the houses of parliament when you're looking from the river oh no it's not i'm just thinking when you stood on the street you see big ben at this side the houses of parliament but yeah this is looking from the river so it's the backwards way on but uh, yeah it's a very very nice picture sorry it's a little bit glary so you've got um the end of the houses of parliament here with all the fireworks going off we've even got a ring look there um of a firework and all the like star shaped ones we've then got um the tower there i can't remember what that's called but these are all where our mps sit and lords house of lords it's got a little bit squished and we've got a big firework that goes over the two pictures there and onto the Queen Elizabeth Tower as it is now with Big Ben the Bell in it. So yeah, and we've got all the River Thames running here along the bottom and we've even got a boat. I don't think you could quite see it. Yeah, we've just got a little boat going down the river on a night time. That'd be quite nice actually being on a boat seeing all the fireworks in the background. I know for new year these fireworks are absolutely spectacular in london they cost millions of pounds i know millions of pounds just to uh, blow up things but uh, yeah they are spectacular i love fireworks hubby absolutely hates them he doesn't like going anywhere near them doesn't like seeing them so 
uh, yeah, we'd, when the children were younger, we did used to go to firework displays and we have been to an odd one with the uh, grandchildren. But um, yeah, it's not something hubby likes, uh, but I've always loved them. We've always had fireworks from being really little. Uh, so we used to go around penny for the guy and uh, save up and uh, get all the pennies from people and uh, buy fireworks and stuff and have a bonfire and everything and have a really nice party. Uh, but it seems to be more trick-or-treat do that now um, and then the big firework displays so I'll give these a quick measure so they're all going to be the same height which is 40 centimeters 16 inches then the big one in the middle is 30 centimeters 12 inches and the ones either side are five uh, sorry 15 centimetres, 6 inches. So that's your size. Obviously, you can put them as near together or as far away from each other as possible. But as I said, I do like the fact that these are pre-framed because you don't have to worry about getting them exact. It's all been done for you. This size here is exactly the same height and everything as this one. So you're not having to worry that you've made sure that this is stretched and on your canvas, you know, so that it's the same height and everything. It is already done for you. So I do like that. It is a partial. So none of the where the fireworks aren't, none of the like background is diamond painted. But actually all of the bottom of the canvas is and all the buildings and all the fireworks. So there is still a lot of diamond painting on this. But again, you've got it in three separate pictures. So if you don't feel like doing a big picture at the moment, you could just do the little bit. And maybe you could just do the other little bit at this side and then do the middle one when you've got a bit more time. But I do think that this is uh, lovely and we do love going to London. Um, I've got family that live down uh, in London um, and along the east, along the south coast, uh, just away from London. So, yeah, we do visit as regularly as possible. But I always find London a really exciting place. We usually go by train and uh, the main station there is like, at King's Cross and St Pancras and when you get off the train at King's Cross it's like the whole world is just suddenly rushing and you just get pulled along in that rush and the atmosphere and the diversity there's so many different nations different people different cultures there it's marvellous I absolutely love going to London not sure I could live there I don't know I enjoy going there as a treat um, but I don't know whether it's somewhere that I'd like to live. I love coming back home and being a little bit quieter. But yeah, I do find it exciting and I do love going and seeing the sights. I remember the last time we went, um, we were walking around, we went to the National History Museum and we walked past Big Ben and it was a really, really sunny day. And just looking up and seeing that tower with all its gold and everything on them, the clock, it was just spectacular. It was just take your breath away moment really good memories so hopefully uh we'll be able to go i'm not sure if hubby's going to be able to get on the um underground in his wheelchair that's something we'd have to look into but on the whole once you get into the center of london um you can walk most places they're not that far apart you tend to think it's this massive city um and that you need to get the tube but the last few times we've been we've actually walked from uh, King's Cross Station all the way into like uh, London we've got to Trafalgar Square, Buckingham Palace, gone to all the shops and everything and uh, yeah it, it's been you know really really good we've uh, had a really good day without actually going onto the tube obviously you've got to then get the weather and um, Harrods is a little bit further to walk but not that far it is doable anyway let's have a look at the colours of these gems so they do look good quality, but I do think they're possibly acrylic, thinking about the uh, price of them. Oh gosh, that's no good. That's, uh, oh well, the bag's just completely come apart in my hands. Great. Okay. <laughs> that isn't what I wanted. Right, I'll throw that away. I think it's because of that sellotape on it. Oh dear. So we've got our lovely little key code there. So say it tells you where all your different symbols and how many bags of each and your little picture. Yeah, and then we have, well, ooh, oh, 
Right, so I didn't know that. It's a mixture of crystals as well. So it looks like the fireworks then are going to be crystals. And we have a hot pink. Yay! Oh, it's definitely this canvas. Right, where do we start? Start at this end. So we've got a sort of a mid pink, like a shrimp pink. And a russet colour and a dark grey. Oh, there's a lot of escapees in this. They've all wanted to go to uh, each other's parties. And a bit paler grey. And a fawn and a peach. And oh, a very bright purple, that one. Oh, very nice. Bright orange. And a lemon. And a paler lemon. And your chocolatey brown. And a mocha colour. And then these are 939, which are your dark navyish blue. And a rose pink. And another very pale lilac colour there, like a, an orangey, burnt orangey colour. Tinned pea green and another rose pink colour. And then we have a burgundy and white and then lots of silver crystal. Lots of your lemon, a small amount of lemon crystal, a hot pink and then a little bit of purple. So that's going to be really good then. So it's going to be standard crystals. Quite darkish, albeit there is some big pops of colour with this orange and purple. And then all the fireworks are going to be crystals in the background. It's a shame it doesn't light up. I think I would have liked it to light up. But yeah, it's still going to be a very nice painting. Where I'm going to put this one, I'm not quite sure. Because it does need to be pride of place somewhere. And it's a sort of like makes it a bigger painting with having the gap without being a huge painting to do. So I like that idea as well. Hmm. Okay, well, I've not got a bag to put these back in now. They'll just have to go into the box until I get round to doing it. But yeah, I think for £12, this is an excellent buy. And I'm really glad I got it. So, yeah. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me. If you have a thumbs up, it's always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.